Well, my parents are Christian, so I'm, I'm guessing I'm Christian. Mm. But I, I'm not someone who goes to church every Sunday or mm. whatever. I'm not. No, it's not me. Um, I'm not. But I'm not saying I don't believe. Mm. Okay. And I got respect for every got religion. For yeah. Every religion. Mm. But do you think all religion are truth? Do you think all all of the religion are truth? I'm not in a position to ask that question. How, unless I unless I know a lot, I, I I'm not going to answer. How that question. about I share you the concept of Islamic understanding? Okay. And see for yourself, right? Okay. So in Islam, we believe there is a creator. Yes. One creator. Yes. And which we call him Allah. Yeah. And Allah, he is self-sufficient. Means. Yeah. He doesn't need sustenance, food, sleep, or eat. He doesn't need that. Okay. It doesn't apply to him, right? Yep. And he doesn't have a father, neither okay. he has a son. Okay. Right? So ascribing son to him in Islam is called blasphemy. It means the creator is unlike the creation. Right. So when we define a creator, he's not like anything we can see in this creation. Okay. Though therefore, Anything we see in the creation or any object, whatever, purely, we say, no, these cannot be the partner of God. Okay. Because God, these are creation, God is the creator. Yep. Simple distinction. Yep. And that goes in line with everyone's primordial state, yep. which is the cognitive state of every human being that we believe every children born believing in one creator. And it is their family, society, change them their own way. Yeah. So imagine you born in a Christian family, yeah. but your belief is not the Christian belief when you born. When you grow up, you have seen how this religious activity is done in the family and the church. Yeah. And then you kind of get their idea of the God definition yeah. and then yeah. you adopt it. But if you rationally look into it, you will find the Islamic concept of God is more aligned with the reason. And what we say is, the creator of the heavens and the earth, he created you with reason, okay. with logic, yes, with intellectual mind. And I think that's the case. same way. So he would not give a religion that would contradict your mind. Okay. On that essence, we can happily eliminate all other religion with due respect to them, okay. and we say Islam is the only true religion because it gives you the true concept of God means your true submission or true reliance okay. to that being who can really help you and who actually help you. So Allah said majority, most of the time in the Quran, Allah talks about that when people are worshipping those objects or whether human being or the statue or the stone, he asking a question, did that statue created this universe? Or am I the creator of the universe? Right. You see? So it asking the question of, you know, your innate questions, which you are hungry for. And then once you come to know that, yes, it's rational, then is there any other supporting evidence can I find to support what this logically I am already convinced? And then you have Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sent as a messenger to this humanity, confirming that all the messenger came previously, they came with one message. First message is not to worship God. Okay. First message is shun the false God. Do you know why? No. So that it can prevent you from misdirection of worship. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes sense. And this is the biggest scene in Islam. We call it shirk in Arabic, which means association partnering with God. Right. Any questions so far? Um, what do you think? Do you rationally kind of agree what I have said? Yeah. Is there anything you, you find it contradicting in your mind? No. no. Fully agree? Yeah. I do. Yeah. So now the position of Jesus, so we say, he can't be God because God has certain attribute. God possesses the attribute of power, yeah. all power, all knowing. And we can, if we apply Jesus on those tests, can Jesus all powerful? Someone can say, look, when he comes to the earth, he humble himself. This is what our Christian brothers have said. So in Islam, we in response to we say is, 
God can do anything. We don't disagree with that. When you, but, say, when you say Islam, you mean Muslim? Religion? Yes, Islam, yeah. So what we say is that <clears throat> God can do anything. Yeah. Allah said, Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Allah is able to do anything, right? Yeah. But he will only do things that suits him. If you say, can God fight with man, right? Yeah. It's possible, but what we say, it doesn't apply to him. Yeah. Why should he even fight? Yeah. So imperfection is not the nature of God. So the moment you come to creation, you, you are in, you become imperfect, suddenly all perfect and suddenly become imperfect. You see, suddenly you don't know. That's why we see when Jesus clearly said, worship my God and your God. Yeah. So therefore, Jesus was never telling himself to worship him. And this idea was later generated in different council, starting from 325 in Nicaea, and then later on in 381 Council of Constantinople, and these ideas was generated. So the idea of oneness always there. And the true monotheism exists in the time of Abraham and Moses, and even in the time of Jesus. It has been diverted. And I'll show you a verse of the Quran. One second. What do you make up of this verse? I will show you this verse, yeah? It's a... Number 66 and 67. Yeah. Would you want to read it? You read it. Read okay. It, you read it. So Allah is saying, Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was inclining to a truth, a Muslim submitting to God, and he was not of the polytheist. Okay. So when... Whenever we are arguing with Jesus and the Moses and the divinity, what is the truth? It is better we go back to Abraham to find out what's truth because he was before everyone else. Okay. Right? Very rational. And then we find Abraham, the concept of Trinity didn't exist. Yet. Judaism was not existed because Abraham, the Judah, is one of the sons of Israel, right. which is long after Abraham. Right? Yeah. So the Abraham was someone quran is affirming he was muslim means he was submitted to god means he shunned all the false god and worship god alone okay. does yep. that make sense that makes sense yeah and then allah tells us that once you know your creator then allah is telling you that the reason why he sent us to this world because it's logical for god to decide our purpose because we didn't create ourselves no. So we don't know our purpose. So, so what would be the best method of communication? What do you think? The best. How, how do you think God would communicate to us? What is the best method? I don't know. Go on. So we say in Islam, Allah said, said that the best method of communication is to send a messenger. Send messengers. Okay. Why? So that the messenger show you how to do that. Practically, you know, a Muslim or non-Muslim, whoever, anything we go, we like to see things practically done. Okay. So therefore, we find a way, okay, if you go to pharmacy, you know, if you are in, in training, so you need to see how pharmacy is doing things, okay. right? Yeah. And then you follow it. So we need a guide. Yeah. Everything in this life, we need a guide. So therefore, in the same aspect, in the religious teaching, God sent messengers, human, like us, so that on the day of judgment, we cannot say, oh, we have an excuse on that day. Okay. You see, yep. you know, a man can do it. Why you can't do that? And Prophet Muhammad, Adam, all of them, they're human. They are human, first of all, and then they are messenger of God. And then their message was supported by the evidence. What do you think the evidence they bring? You know, but, so let me share with you. Called, so they, so their character is impeccable. Okay. Number one, they're truthful, trustworthy. Yeah. The community accepted that these are the best role model in terms of their character. Yeah. But it's not enough to call himself a God's messenger by just being good and kind and attributing. It has to support it by some supernatural activities that so that the community can be convinced of that they are the indeed of the messenger of God. So those messengers came to their people they shown miracles and we believe moses parted the sea 
Jesus healed the leper, okay. cured the blind, yeah. right? These are the miracles Allah given them. Why? So that the people can listen to their message. Yeah. This will be an accreditation and approval to their people. Yeah. Imagine if someone shows miracle. That means you approved him. Now I'm going to listen to him, right? Yeah. So you, because of this miracle, you don't start worshiping him without listening to him, right? Yeah. So that's why we say after those acceptability. So the miracle make the acceptability to the community. And then all the prophets, they communicated the message and tell one message. One simple message to every generation that all people forget the false God, shun the false God mm -hmm. and worship the God and follow his guidelines that he set out. And that's why we need heavenly laws to govern ourselves. At the moment, we have too many earthly law and we are trying to solve all our problem with this earthly law by our incapable mind because we try to create the law to govern us yeah. and which is not helping. Why? Because this is not the solution. The solution is the heavenly law where God is the creator, he's the sustainer, he's the maintainer. He knows what is the best solution. Yeah. And then Quran, Allah sent guidance, first remind you who the God is and then telling you how should govern your life because he knows you and he knows the society very well. Right. He is all wise. So Allah is Al-Hakim, means all wise. So an all wise entity would not leave you alone with, to figure out well, what I have to do. Okay. The problem with the society, society created their own religion, means yeah. own way of life. Yeah. And which I say that, that if you define a new way of life, it's become a way of life or you can define them as a religion. But when objectively you know the messengers are true, you know the books are true, you know rationally that Allah is the only true creator, then it is too much compelling evidence to reject with. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. And the Quran has, Quran, I haven't touched about Quran. Quran is a miracle, we believe, in the face of the planet Earth, that this is the only book on the face of the Earth has been preserved letter by letter, word by word. Not, that's the only book in the face of that. Right. And that also a sign that creator didn't leave me and you alone without proper guidance. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. You're talking a lot of sense. You talk a lot of sense. If I talk a lot of sense, if I say things correct, and if you know this message is true, the message contains that there will be a day, day of judgment and Allah will ask you a question in the grave and on the Day of Judgment. So two set of trial are awaiting for us once we die. Yep. Allah will ask three questions on the grave. Angel will three ask three questions. First question, who is your Lord? Yep. Now imagine if you didn't worship Allah alone and you were saying, okay, let me memorize the answer yep. and I will tell him, look, Allah, and then I'm, I'll pass. That ain't going to happen. You have to live by Islam to answer that question. Okay. And the second question would be asked, yeah, uh, what is your religion? If you live by Islam, you'll be able to answer it. And the third question will be followed, who is your prophet? Yeah. Who is your guide? We don't worship Muhammad, but we follow him because Allah sent him as a messenger so that we know how to worship and how to follow the command of God that question and then you have day of resurrection day of judgment Allah will resurrect everybody everyone and Allah will ask about everything about our life not a single things will be hidden everything in recorded Allah is recording everything in his book an interesting passage there are people who will deny you know angels are recording yeah. book so angels like Allah created every human being and yep. every human being he appointed two angels. So one in your right and one in your left shoulder. Yep. And they are writing your good and bad deeds. Okay. And Allah will bring back those evidence. And there are still some arrogant people will say, look, I don't be believe those external evidences. 
Do you know what happened? There is a verse in the Quran. Allah said, "Awalam naqtimu ala afwahihim, wa tukallimu naidhim, wa tashhadu arjulhum bima kanu yibsibu." On that day, Allah will uh, a, a seal on their lips, yep. and their hand will talk against them. Okay. Means you will be giving your testimony against you. Can you feel that the horror day that you are testifying against yourself? Yep. That means one thing for sure. The hand you are holding with you, it was under your control, yeah. but one day it will be not. Your body is under control now, your mind is under control of you now. But one day, if you don't use it to remember the God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, then that will be ultimately go against you, yeah. and those that will work against against evidence for you. Yeah. Now, becoming a Muslim is simple things. Someone say, there is no God but Allah, and you worship sincerely to Allah, and accept all the messenger came to this planet as a, as a God messenger, and do not take them as a partner to Allah. Once you understand and agree, then someone become Muslim, and then the obligation of five daily prayers, fasting month of Ramadan, I'm sure you, you know. Yes, I know, yeah. Yeah, and then giving 2.5% of your excessive wealth, excessive income, yep. earning basically, and, and then you go to pilgrimage once in a lifetime, but depend on if you have the ability, physical or money-wise in both, right? Does that make sense? That makes sense, yeah. Oh, what? When are you becoming Muslim then? I don't know. That's a that's a that's a big move. Because, I, like I say, I'm not religious. So I'm not. But you not... know one thing. I'm not religious. But something when, whenever so, any any information come yeah. to you, when information become truthful, yeah. whenever you buy, you know, in our life we always make decision based on when we have information we evaluate. Imagine yeah. you go for shopping. You find a good product. Yeah. You evaluate and you say. Look, this is size-wise perfect, yep. price-wise perfect. Then you don't want to leave it because you don't know whether this product will stay on that shelf, right? It may go next day. What you do, you pick it up. But this one is even greater concern because this message contains a very great rewarding message yep. of paradise and the eternal suffering. And life is too short, you know that. Yeah, 100%. You can't come back and say to Allah, okay, give me another chance. No. Nope. Allah is sending you signs all the day. Yep. Look at the vast sky. Without. So you're, not, you're saying you're not religious? I am religious. You are? Yeah, I am religious. So you, you know a lot. No, I, look. You, I, I guess you've read that book inside out, upside down. No, I, I have read it. Yes, I have read it. And you know it first, first you know it. No, I am not a memorizer of the book, but... Uh, you know but, a lot. But the Muslim community, you will find that we, we preserve the book by memorization. Okay. So that's why we say this is the only book on the face of the earth yeah. has been memorized. And that is one of the sign of God that God would not leave you in confusion. Now imagine when Jesus left, the community is in confusion. That's why they had to do counseling yeah. to decide what belief should go. Yeah. But do you think that God will leave me and you in confusion? In? In confusion. No. So in order to relieve confusion, Allah sent messenger who? Muhammad, peace be upon Confirming that Jesus is indeed a messenger of God. Right. Then don't take. And in one point, let me tell you an interesting story. In one point, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was sitting, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, sitting with audience with his companion. And then some of the companions started to exaggerating him in his praise. Okay. Means they're praising him, but Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, do not exaggerate the level that they make son of Mary messenger to God. So basically saying, don't exaggerate my praise. That's what they have done with son of Mary, which is Jesus and they make him messenger to God. Yeah. So Islam, Allah start with, look, this book start with this praise. Yeah, look at that book. It start with, it start with say, 
Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise due to God, Lord of the worlds. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. The entirely merciful, the specially merciful. Maliki Yawmiddin. The sovereign of day of recompense. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. It is, it is you we worship and you we ask for help. Ihdina al-Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Guide us to the straight path. Because yeah. look, devil is attempting every moment. He's trying to, you know, divert you from the true. Yeah. You know, he, he always tell you not to uh, share your gratitude to Allah. He always try to take you away from the path of God. Because life is a test. Oh, yeah. And Allah allows devil to do that. Because yeah. otherwise, where will we, how can it be a test? You know? And then Allah said, Then you seek help. The path of those upon whom you bestowed favor means the prophets and messenger. We should follow them as a role model and not of those who have evoked your anger like some of them go beyond the line like Pharaoh. Yeah. Pharaoh is one of the one of the example Quran constantly demonstrated. Yeah. He crossed the limit and Allah said don't be like those but like those who are sincere submit of God and walk upon the earth humbly but make sure you praise Allah for everything you receive and this life is a temporal and the test is to follow by abide by the guidelines Quran set reject your desire because some people worship their desire some people say look I'm not attributing myself to Christianity even if you don't worship any religion you'll be worshiping desire yeah. So that Quran makes a claim. Quran makes an interesting verse. It said, man ilahahu hawa. That have you seen the one who taken his desire as his own God? So some people worshipping their, you know, worldly things and the matter, the cars, you know, ex excessive form of love. So Allah is saying, if you don't worship God, you'll be worshipping something else. Yeah. But why don't you worship Allah because Allah can help you yeah. that things you are help worshiping these cannot help you when you are in danger oh, means when you are in the dead then you will meet him with Allah and uh, and Allah will ask on the day of judgment that okay you know the object you worship ask them to help you yeah. they cannot help themselves how can they help you exactly so my brother what's your name Jason Jason, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, nice. Jason, I, I tell you one thing. Don't delay. Honestly, I tell you, this is your short life. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's definitely Ma short life. Definitely, I agree with you, that 100%. You can, if you're ready, you can take now or you can have a read and take the so step. I say, I've got a copy, I've got a copy at home yeah. already. Yeah, I was given so, one some well, time ago. So, are, are you, so, would you say you are a decisive person? Yes. Would you like to take your shahada? Means you become a Muslim now? No, not, not right no, now, okay, but fine. I will do I, I'm the reason why I, give, I will think about it. The reason why I asked you, because I need to make a formal invite. Okay. So the invitation is done to you. Okay. Right? Yep. So you know like when you invite people, they said, okay, I can come because I have some other issues, right? So I make that invite to you, Jason. Okay. And God willing. So don't wait for any invite. Now it is on your coat. Okay. You have taken the information. Read the Quran and ask for the Creator guide me. If you are there, guide me, because you don't wanna uh, you don't wanna follow the crowd because crowd will mislead you. Yeah. And Allah constantly tells in the Quran that do not follow your forefather, do not follow your society. No. Nope, because they, you can't guarantee them that they are telling the truth. No. Nope. But the follow what has been revealed by the Creator of the heavens and the earth. The approved people, follow approved people, not disapproved people. So society, disapproved, messenger, approved. Right. On that note, Jason, it Thank was you nice to you. Look for, after you. Uh, good, good to talk to you. And you know, if you, have a, if you have any question, I can uh, share you some of our details. Brilliant.